It's December, and, well, December's recruiting month. I mean, for you right now, I mean, in the future it'll be playoff month, but... Uh, oh, I like the sounds of that. <laughs> but for right now, you're bringing guys in, and you're showing them what this program has right now. And, uh, Bobby, I mean, since the last time we were in here, you guys have added wall art. Uh, I understand that the... Players' Lounge looks great, and mm -hmm. the locker room is all jazzed up, and you've got all of these beautiful photos from the first season. You used to be selling a vision, mm -hmm. now you're selling a product. How does that work? It, it's all about the process, and Old Dominion is all about making a first-class presentation with everything, and that's what we wanted to do with this facility, not just for recruiting and our recruits, but for everybody who works here, for our players who come in here. It, it is eye-catching stuff right now, and I'm excited to take you and all of the people who are watching this program on a tour of the facility. Let's walk and talk. Let's do it. Now we're, uh, we're getting into this period of uh, December where you can bring in junior colleges or right. transfer players and uh, what are we bringing in? What, what's, what's happening? Well we're excited right now with starting on January 11th when our classes start we'll have Dominique Blackman here who's a junior college transfer from California. So he got his paperwork in. We got his paperwork in. He is official and we'll also have Ronnie Cameron and Duran Mayo, the two uh, defensive linemen that are coming to us from Hostra. It's official, they're in. Tell me a little bit about Duran Mayo. He's got a pretty interesting background with his family. Deron Mayo's a great story. He's a local 757 player, played at Kickatan High School. His older brother Gerard uh, played at Tennessee, was a first round draft choice of the New England Patriots, starting linebacker now for the Patriots. And his younger brother uh, is at Richmond playing linebacker there. So they have three outstanding football players in the family. We're very excited to be having Deron come to Old Dominion. All right. How about this room right here? I like this room. The team room. 120 seats, all of our defensive goals, special teams, offense, and as you can see, the new photos. Uh, this is absolutely my favorite photo here because this is the team taking the field before the game. When we come through that tunnel and come out before the game and there's 20,000 people that are on their feet cheering, it's such a good moment for everybody because you don't feel like your feet touch the ground from the time you leave the tunnel until you get all the way out to the home sideline. As a coach, if you have a home atmosphere, it's as if you're starting the game up 10 to nothing because of what it does not only to motivate your players, but what it does to intimidate the other team. And I feel like we have that 10 to nothing advantage when we play at home in our house with the 12th Monarch. Go show me the uh, Players' Lounge. I understand that there's a nice wall mural down there. I am excited to show you and everybody the Players' Lounge. This. Rich is our player lounge right here, which is outstanding. We've had these new photos put in, which we are very excited about. The, uh, it's very good artwork, and uh, what I'm looking at and noticing the most when I walk in is 757, 757, 757, 757. I guess recruiting the 757 is still very important to this program. No question. Our number one priority since the day I was hired was to try to recruit this area as hard as we could, try to keep all the top players from the 757 home, and then extend out through the state of Virginia. And we've done that. We currently have 35 players on our roster that are from the 757 area code. These kids grew up within 20 minutes of this campus. So everybody who grew up watching them play Pop Warner football, middle school, high school, now they can watch them play right here at Old Dominion in front of 20,000 people every time they play. And we also have 80% of our roster is from the state of Virginia, which was the other major goal of this program. We're meeting those goals right now with Virginia high school players and 757 players. I don't have any doubt in my mind that's had a major impact on our home attendance and the fact that we were fifth in the country this year out of 125 teams in attendance. Go show me the locker room. I haven't been there for about a year. You are going to love the locker room. We've got some improvements. You know, a locker room can smell pretty bad if it's not done right. And right now, my nose is working well, and <laughs> there's no bad smells in here. So uh... We take pride in the fact that uh, we want it to always make a championship presentation. Thomas DeMarco's locker. Rich, one of the things that's really unique about this locker is the fan system we have that helps maintain the quality of the equipment. And if you look right here, you can see this is Thomas's helmet and his shoulder pads. And it's very easy for the players to remove this when they're taking it to put it on for practice. And if you look inside, you can see there are two blowers in this fan system that blow up 
into the shoulder pads and the helmet to help keep them dry, which helps with the longevity of the equipment. And part of the fan system in here, Rich, what this does is it keeps his practice cleats, his workout sneakers, and his shower sandals dry. There's a fan system that blows air from the outside into the shoes. And that, again, helps maintain the quality and the longevity of his footwear. It dries them out. Well, Bobby, in the past years, you've been recruiting to fill a roster. Now you're recruiting right. to fill a need, I see. Right. And um, where does that take you? It's, it's exciting right now because when we were first hired three years ago, it was recruit everybody. Not just recruit the starters, but recruit the backups. Now we're in a situation where we're filling out our roster. We're trying to create more competition. You know, our goal at Old Dominion is to be a championship football program. We want to compete for championships in the toughest conference in the country in 1AA football. And in order to do that, you've got to have great people, You've got to have people that aspire to be great students, and then the football part will take care of itself. So those three things are paramount for Old Dominion football and our aim high philosophy. All right, coach me up here. Hand it off. Elbow up. That's good technique. Elbow up. Let's cover the point. Cover Five the points point. of pressure. Keep it tight so I can't get it out of there and rip it out of there. <laughs> and then when I get in the open field, <laughs> nose up. Nose up. <laughs> All right, Bobby. Uh, well, you coached the season. Now you're really recruiting hard in the off season. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for taking the time out to uh, show us the new place. And uh, I guess you've got a flight to catch. Absolutely. I'll see you all later. Go Monarchs! <laughs>